have phenomenal faculty members. You know, they have this wealth of experience and knowledge. Um, not only are they phenomenal hand surgeons, but they're also really invested in teaching us and helping you to become a fully realized hand surgeon. What sets it apart is that it's a fellowship for the real world. And the reason why is because you are an attending. So you run your own clinic, you run your own OR, you run your own uh, office, um, you do your own billing. So you have your first year of practice here. Uh, so when you come out of practice, or when you start looking for jobs, you're not really a first year attending, you're really a second year attending. And that's a huge advantage. That alone would be enough to make this one of the best fellowships in the United States. The goal of the Year of Fellowship is to turn out well-trained, energetic orthopedic surgeons with great interpersonal skills. You know, we try to teach you to operate. We try to teach you to take care of patients in the office. Before I was chairman, I was the head of the hand surgery division. And we actually started the hand surgery fellowship here when it was actually just Peter Weiss and I, the two of us. And now we have this great team of hand surgeons that train two fellows. I think the single best thing about the fellowship as a whole, uh, when you compare it to national programs, is uh, our operative experience. The fellows really, whether it's with the faculty in the beginning and or on their own later on, uh, they all have their own block OR time, they have their own operating privileges as attendings. Um, their operative experience is, is second to none. They can easily do 1,500 real cases per year and uh, really develop the autonomy that at the end of the year, they're really afraid of nothing. I have a particular interest there in nerve surgery and you know, a lot of the cases that, uh, a lot of the patients that we see and evaluate, uh, we do together and I feel like we always work together as a group uh, with a fellow a resident on our service uh, to come up with treatment strategies. So we're always kind of walk, uh, working together uh, through the more complex cases. Dr. Katarenzik is one of the best program directors you could ask for. She's actually really invested in how you want to grow and how the experience is for you. Um, she'll go out of her way to make sure that you see things that you'd like to see. Um, she also goes to bat for us. She always stands up for you. She has this way of really kind of building you up and giving you confidence, um, not only in the OR, but also in the clinic. It's a world-class education. I mean, it's, it's a, a great name, but more importantly, the attendings here are masters of their craft. I feel like I've seen every type of acute trauma and we also have a plethora of reconstructive cases that are out there. So anything you want to do or are interested in is here. The attendings here, they, they teach us the tried and true ways to handle hand surgery. They are leading the way in finding new and innovative solutions uh, that are hopefully going to end up having patients with better outcomes. One on one, I just love to teach. I was the president of the American Society for Surgery of the Hand, where my entire presidential mission was starting a program called Hand E, which if any of the hand fellow applicants look online now, they'll understand what a great thing it is now at ASSH. They're spending a year with us, giving up a year to be able to get more education in hand and upper extremity. Rhode Island has a ton to offer outside when it comes to just the natural beauty of the coastline and everything else. Uh, additionally, this area that we ended up moving to here in Barrington has phenomenal schools. There was just a lot of really good experiences for my kids in the schools, uh, my kids in their activities with gymnastics and dance and uh, volleyball and all these other sports that they're involved in. They were able to jump in and be part of the teams. Rhode Island's fantastic. Uh, a little roadie has a soft spot in my heart. Um, and throughout my training, this is the only place where I've kind of lived that has that really cool kind of sense of community. Every single month, the, the city has something that's going on. There's festivals, there's, you know, art exhibits. You can do, there's tons of culture here. You're gonna get a good education from a lot of different programs out there. And so you gotta look and see what else the program has to offer. They really focused on that family aspect of what we were doing and I could tell that it was something that was important to them uh, and since it was also important to me it, it really fit well. They need to learn how to see hopefully everything imaginable they're going to see in practice, learn our thought process on how to treat it, um, also become dedicated teachers dealing with the medical students, the residents, the PAs, I think that's essential and then ultimately take everything we teach them and go where they're going to go and be the best hand surgeons they can be.